Gosh, favorite thing. There are so many things to love here. It's called a bombax tree. I am in the Amazon rainforest. I am on the Amazon River. I kind of knew it was going to be beautiful, but I didn't realize just how beautiful. One moment that sticks out in particular was just descending into Iquitos and looking out the plane window and just seeing the vastness of the rainforest and the Amazon River snaking through was just very overwhelming. <laughs> people here are just absolutely amazing. We went to the village and as soon as we pulled up to the bank, I mean there were all these school kids on the bank playing music, waving, greeting us, big smiles on their faces. Um, it was a really nice welcome. And then we went into the schoolhouse and met some of the teachers, uh, met some of the students. All of the students went above and beyond to prepare different ways of entertaining us and showing us about their cultures. I had to leave early because I needed to use I needed to use the bathroom when I was hurt. I probably would not be able to uh, access the one that was at the village. Let me just say it's not wheelchair accessible. Uh, so right now we're at Explore Napo Lodge uh, in Peru. So I've been studying um, leaves and herbivory, sort of the relationship between insects and leaves um, and how much they're eating those leaves. Finding a lot of people tell me no um, when I apply for different projects they say it can't be done from a wheelchair and so that's what makes Meg so special is she finds ways to make it possible which is why I'm here in the Amazon today and the amazing guides that are here have been so incredibly helpful making sure I can do pretty much what everybody else is doing. I lift up the toilet seat and a bat flew out. You never know what you're going to see. Anything is possible whether you're disabled or able-bodied or anything you know if you've got something that you're passionate about there's always a way to do it. There's always a way to do what you love and what you care about.